Hello and welcome. This video is about the story called, let's head over, Legend of La Orzeca. So here's the final rewards and definitely a reason why you'd want to do this. And there's more reason. Look at all the rewards that they give you. And throughout this video, you are we're going to accomplish you getting all of these rewards. So these quests as we get towards the end uh, we'll need to find things and there is a gentleman that I went to uh, to get this information and we will give him credit because credit is due and we want to say thank you for that guy. But uh, it's later in the video but for now I want to show you uh, where when you go to outfits when the time comes that you want to craft it this is where you go and right now the these are the uh, pieces that you need and right now the crazed scale armor is the only one that seems accessible the uh, stats on it uh, I'm, I'm a little fuzzy on uh, what the final result will be uh, we all don't know yet because nobody has it yet except maybe the people in BDO. But uh, for BDM here, we will take you as far as we can. And that's what this video is going to accomplish. Is having you be able to craft the item when the time comes. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you the storyline so you can enjoy it. I cut out the parts where it transitions from one spot to another to uh, save on the length of the video and you'll also notice that the video is broken up into all you have to do is just tap on the quest and it'll take you where you need to go so there's a block and then the section where you need to find something we're gonna break that up I'm gonna give the proper credit to the gentleman that helped me and then the end of the video is where you can get the remaining pieces and after that I will do my outro and say thank you so I'm gonna take this moment now to allow you to just enjoy the storyline and follow along with it and I will chime in from time to time but for the most part enjoy and I will talk to you in a bit here we go
Okay, the time has come. So, with the end of this uh, explanation right here, it's going to start the uh, section where you need to find the objects. And I would like to do a special thank you to a gentleman called Ice X Game. He uh, has been a very knowledgeable person when it comes to this game, and I'm very thankful I was able to pull up a video of his and get this completed so I can put this together for uh, my webpage and give people more options on where to find all of this information. So very thankful, Isex Game, he's doing a great job. Thank you very much. So we'll go ahead and see the rest of this uh, explanation and you will see that you can't tap on it anymore. They need you to find, there it is. Find evidence regarding cunning shadow. So here's the clue that you're given and we're going to show you where you need to go. So for the first clue, you want to head over to North Medea and you want to go to Ancient Pass. So you just tap on that and auto path to it and we will cut all of the transition screens and get you right to Ancient Pass. By the way, my apologies, my horse is drunk and trying to see forward can probably disturb a lot of people <laughs> so here we go and once you're there I open up the map so you can see exactly where I'm going you just follow this path all the way in and when you get to the fork in the road which is here you just veer to the right just straight right see that piece of furniture and the glowing object and you're there And with the last piece of information here from the Black Spirit, this will now bring us to the next clue that we need to solve. Find the scales. So look for the snake's whereabouts to find the dark light scales. And as always, we will show you where you need to go. So we'll go ahead and confirm. Head to the map. And now you are going to South Medea. And once you are there, you're going to, uh, let's bring it up so you have the proper title. It's right there, but it's Soldier's Grave Depths. So, as always, we will uh, cut out the transition screens and bring you right there. Once my drunken horse gets to the teleporter. Sorry about that, guys. I wish they would fix that. <laughs> Here we are. So once you're here, what you want to do 
believe I opened the map. Let me see here. Nope, I guess not. So you want to just stay to the left. So just stay here to the left, turn left at the intersection, go through these uh, concrete gates, and then cut left at this dirt path that goes up these stone steps. So left, left, and up. And then you just follow the path and it is behind this house. You see the glowing object behind the house? As I try to get to it, that is what you need. So we'll just go ahead and position ourselves. <laughs> Photo op. There we go. And you're set. Just tap on it. Congratulations. From now on, you can discover Shadow Snake's skin. So you now unlocked the second piece out of the three pieces you need to craft the uh, Larozeka armor. And now we are off to the next part. So this one is you just tap on it and it'll take you right to that person. I uh, don't know why my Archmage felt the need to uh, go the long way around. But don't worry, once we get the teleporter, we'll cut straight to meeting up with her. So here we go. So we are now on to the third and final clue. Find evidence for the grace of goddess. And as always, we will show you where to go. So let's go ahead and head to the map. And this time you are going to North Medea and to Elric Shrine. Now, the advice I was given from Isex Game is to go to Elric Shrine in Hadoom mode because uh, you can kill the amount of heretics that you need to so much quicker and trigger the next step. So I apologize when I got there. I didn't record it. I killed like a few of them for 10 seconds or less and it just triggered the next sequence and I was like, darn it, I should have recorded that. So as you can see, it shows complete, and that's not going to happen for you. So I'm going to show you where you need to go, which is directly diagonal 
all the way to the top and once I get there which it was a little tough you really don't want to fight these guys uh, you want to get all the way down till you get to this room right in here I mean not here but you gotta go through this archway this area right here so I killed a few people to simulate oh look it triggered that the I defeated Elric Shrine Cultus and it really is just that quick so great that's done let's go ahead and tap on it and the reason you're here is because the next step is right here to your right so we'll move the camera and you see that glowing object right there it does not glow when you come here initially but when you kill some of these guys then you can so don't worry about fighting them once you tap on picking up the object they'll leave you alone otherwise they'll just keep bugging you <laughs> see look tap on it disperse and allow you to read the storyline and there's that so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next part just about done So we got to go back and ask this person, you just tap on it. I mean, sure, I could teleport out to the nearest town and then tap on it. That is one way to quickly get there. But I just had her run all the way through in case you're like, I'm not sure how to get to that spot again. Well, there it is. She's running back. But don't worry, once we hit the teleporter, we'll be right there. There we go. And the storyline continues. And when you get to this point, speaking to, I believe her name is pronounced Neely Dorman? Uh, maybe. You will notice at the top that it will say you can discover Goddess Grace. Let me say that one more time. Goddess Grace now. And that is the third object that you need to craft the La Orseca. And that is the final reward. Congratulations. Legend of La Orzeca, side story complete. So now what we're going to do for this video is we're going to move into uh, showing you 
we'll go one more time to the craft outfit section to show that these are the three items you need to get the first one we're going to show you where you can obtain that the second and third i will definitely show you where to get the ebador shadow scale and also what's involved with the sacred trees thorn so don't worry there's lots of details to get for you but for now let's show you where to get the crazed armor you just uh, tap on the metal at the very top and this shop right here Welcome. and there it is very top so battle of the sun uh, node wars guild events are how you earn the medals and you just keep going so what we're gonna do now is cut over to the patch notes where they talk about the La Orzeca and I want to point a few things out aside from the fact hey look we added a new story so it's about the second and third piece that you need to craft it and by the way here's what it looks like for the male and female figures very awesome and very cool quite a statement piece when you have it here we go let's uh, let's highlight it so you know about the crazed armor but the shadow scale times one you need to obviously complete this quest and we did through this video and the sacred trees thorn times one you have to unlock the quests and we did and here's the part where they say read the clues and get the materials on your own and find it so this is the official word you know do your best to get out there and find it because thousands of people would like to know as well okay so here is how you get the sacred trees thorn and uh, this information comes from a lot of people and I just want to say thank you very much I condensed all the information to make it easy for you to follow so for the sacred trees thorn you need two pieces you need the branch of hope and the thorn of greed now you get the branch of hope by fighting the world boss Kazarka or Zarka and uh, it'll drop you just got to keep at it until you see it in your inventory that it dropped and then the other piece is the Hadoom version of Zarka and again you'll see the thorn of greed drop in your inventory so when you have these two pieces then you go to Southwest Calpheon and you tap on I believe her name is still pronounced uh, Neely Dor Dorman so you tap on her and you go to her and you talk and she will see that you have the two pieces and she'll offer the final piece quest and you accept it and then once you uh, tap on it to uh, turn it in congratulations you'll now have the sacred trees thorn so now you have two pieces that are needed and let's go ahead and show you how you get the third piece here we go and the third piece is called Ebador's Shadow Scale. And where you get this is you go to the Great Desert. And I, I'm i guessing to say that maybe both Great Desert's uh, levels you can obtain it. But let's just stick with the one that everyone sees because of the level. So you go there and there's just a map of the Great Desert. And then you do excavation and you uh, find objects and you investigate them for your uh, excavation and it is a rare drop but as you are building up your excavation skill level this will drop for you like I say it's a rare drop so don't expect it to drop in the first five times if it does well you're the luckiest person on the planet so what I want to do now is for those people that are like, well, you're telling me to do excavation, but I, 
I just don't get it. I don't know what you're talking about. I have a video for you. So let me go ahead and cue that up. And this is an example of uh, me in the Great Desert uh, with Archmage uh, doing some excavation. So you can get an idea on where I go and what I look for and how it's done. So let me cue that video up for you. Here we go. All right, so we're over here in the Great Desert. And we'll just tap on that. And we're over in Sand Grain Bazaar. And we'll just uh, back out of it because that's where we're at. Call forth our, our cute little elephant. And this is what I always do when I do uh, excavation. I head out and then go to the left and go along the ridge line or the edge here. And I'm waiting for the compass to appear so it'll point me in the direction of an item I can excavate. Now, the elephant has a specialty which allows me to excavate without getting off the elephant. So I just tap on that and the elephant excavates it for me. Whereas if you have a camel, you would have to get off and excavate it, uh, tap on it, and then go from there. So this is the process of excavating. You just follow your compass, and you, uh, you look for that icon to tap on to excavate. And this is it. I'm just going along the edges, keeping the uh, wide desert to my right. And I just keep going as far as I can go and then you come back the way that you came that uh, expecting that new stuff to excavate will respawn so here's a, another one yep. a chest. <laughs> and I also do want you to pay attention to the time in the top right corner or it says remaining time that you can be out in the desert. I'm going to do a, a more official reminder on that after this uh, video. And here we go. We'll just zoom in and show off our elephant. And let's go ahead and return. Here we go. So before I conclude this video, I wanted to take this opportunity to remind you officially that as you can see, you receive purified water once every day. It's in your mailbox and you just uh, receive it, then you tap on it. This screen will come up. It'll highlight the bottle at the top. You tap on that and it'll get added to the blue bar showing how much time you can be out in the Great Desert. I'm currently in a camp when this picture is taken, so the use of my water is inactive when you're in a camp, but when you're out of it, then it continues to count, uh, count down. So don't worry, you do get water every day, so you can be out there to do your excavation. And that will do it. I do want to say thank you very much for watching this video. If you do like my videos, please subscribe like let people know I'm always making more videos and I really was looking forward to completing this one so that you know where to get all three pieces so you can craft your La Orzeca armor and with that I will say have a great day take care bye now